Hi, I'm Emily Crota. I play Tosney. Jack Howard, and I play Felix. Okay, these, these are these are just her questions. Just her, yeah, just oh, these are just. Oh, oh, ask me. Yeah. All right. And then, and then you interview me. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, okay. snap! I'm nervous. Both of us have done a production of Brothers Paranormal at other theaters. Emily, you at Pan Asian Repertory Theater in New York, and me at Coho Theater in Portland, Oregon. How is this production different? This production is better. Don't miss it. It's so much better. Okay. <laughs> I'll throw it over to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I was, <laughs> I will agree, it is better. <laughs> but I guess I didn't have the enthusiasm that she had. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and also, uh, we have um, the cast with the experience, like uh, previously, um, we didn't have as many people that had done the play um, in totality. How is the new version of your character different? Better. <laughs> it's better. You know, because this production, for some reason, um, brought new colors. I I'm just having a great time because it's 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 more fun, but it's also <laughs> stop it, but it's also more tragic. Can't miss this show, man. Once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> so, yes, I would say my character is deeper, has a lot more colors. So yes, it's better. <laughs> ladies first. I'm glad the lady she 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 embodied everything. <laughs> it says so little. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'm loving a few words. And you, but they're effective words. Thank you. I get the idea wrong, right? You, damn sure do. Damn sure. <laughs> so. We all love each other, and I think I feel it on stage. Don't you? I really do. Yeah. I do. We, we have a lot of fun, and uh, we love, I think, to a person, we all love to tell stories. And, oh, yeah. and that comes through. It really does yeah. shine through. We all love to tell stories and we're having fun telling stories. And this. I think it's contagious to the audience. It really is. Your theater resume is extensive with over 30 productions with East West players. What 45. Are, 45. Get it right. I'm only reading this. They, they wrote it down no, no. wrong. You know, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just. What are some standout roles and what keeps you coming back? I love theater and I love all the roles. <laughs> Have either of us had experiences with ghosts? I believe I have. Um, for years after my mother passed, I had difficulty, um, just difficulty. And uh, whenever she would appear to me in my dreams, I just cry, I just wake up crying. And one day, she actually appeared to me and said, JJ, it's okay. I'm not here to make you cry. I'm here to let you know I'm okay. And she spoke and, and smiled at me like moms do. It could have been something that I manifested, but I, I believe that was my mom speaking to me in the form she could. Yeah. So and you felt better after that. Right? I woke up smiling, right. crying. Like I would wake yeah. up crying, feeling bad. Previously, like sad that sorrow. But from that point on, whenever she appeared, I woke up like with that happiness, that joy, that that. <laughs> hmm, like yeah. So I was up here one time. I was giving one of these interviews, you know, and nobody was downstairs. And that elevator went doo -doo 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 -doo. and then the door opened. There was nobody there. Nobody. Ghost. And one time I was helping audition people and I was on stage and after, you know, uh, after the audition I said, hey Meg, who's that up there? You know, check us out. She goes, there's nobody there. And so, uh, that was a ghost, yeah. 
No, I'm serious here. Well, all right, we're serious now. What, what's the song or piece of art that's Jasper's map the knife? Mmm. God bless the child. Mm. Billy Holiday. Yeah. When I left home, I left home to prove that what my parents put in me was enough to be a viable member of society on my own, not at home. Yeah. So, and, and especially since I lost both of my parents, my father just recently, uh, it, it's this, you know, mother may have, father may have, God bless the child has got his own. So that's, that's kind of where I am right now. So yeah. Where was home? Home for me was Cincinnati. Oh. Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. Bengals who oh, they all day. <laughs> You've got an incredible speaking voice. Do, do you have any specific things you do for your voice, or were you just born with a voice that melts butter? <laughs> well, I didn't know I was in the belt melting butter business, hey. <laughs> Ooh. Um, no, it's nothing I do specifically. It's, uh, I guess it, can, it runs in the family. My grandfather had a voice. Ooh, he had a beautiful, deep, resonating voice. Oh my gosh! Uh, and uh, I, I, maybe I, I try to emulate that a little bit when I get out there, because in my normal speaking voice is, you know, it's there. But it's, when I get on stage, you know, it, you know, the stage. So uh, maybe that's just trying to emulate my grandfather. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, better him is going through you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel that when I step on stage, I'm representing my family. I don't that's do it right. for me, I do it for the family. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. that's how I always feel. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, please follow me at Sir Jasper the Virgo. Um, please come see Brothers Paranormal where you'll see wonderful actors and actresses such as Emily over here. And Jack here. <laughs> 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 and you know, it'll be fun. I will tell you that it'll be a fantastic ride. <laughs> it's fun. Rock and roll. You will have fun. I can guarantee you. <laughs>